Okay, let's factor by grouping. I know, and you probably know, that each of these is an even number. That means there's a GCF of at least two in each of these terms. Actually, four goes into all those numbers, and if you explored it with your calculator, you would see that. So let's break this down. 12 is four times three, and y squared is y times y, plus 40 is four times 10, 40y is 4 times 10 times y. And 32, here we have minus 32, but 32 is 4 times 8. That means I have a 4 as my greatest common factor. I'm going to pull it out to the front. Remember, that's what we do. We write the GCF then write parentheses, and then write what's left over. Well, since I brought the 4 out, I'm going to mark off the 4 in these terms. And what that leaves me with is 3y squared plus 10y minus 8. All right, now, now I can find an ABC for what's in the parentheses. A is 3, B is 10, and C is negative 8. To factor by grouping, I multiply A times C. A times C is 3 times negative 8, which is negative 24. Now let's factor negative 24. 1 times negative 24, 2 times negative 12, uh, 3 times negative 8, and 4 times negative 6. And then the other way, because it's a negative number, and negative numbers uh, can factor into a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive number. So negative 1 times positive 24, negative 2 times positive 12, negative 3 times positive 8, and negative 4 times positive 6. Now we need to find the pair that will add up to the B number, positive 10. Well, that is going to be negative 2 times 12. Because negative 2 plus 12 equals positive 10. So let's do that now. Remember there's a 4 in front. I'm going to put brackets on the outside here. I'm going to say 3y squared minus 2y plus 12y minus 8, and then close my brackets. And then inside the brackets, I will group the first two terms and the second two terms and I'll be sure to leave this plus in the middle. It doesn't belong in either set of parentheses. It belongs in the middle. Now I'll factor each set of parentheses by the GCF, and I will do this inside the brackets. So for bracket, well, let's see, each of these terms has a y in it, so I'll pull out a y. And that will leave me with 3y minus 2. And then I'll add, and then 
I'll notice that since 12 is 4 times 3 and 8 is 4 times 2, there's a, a, a GCF of 4 in the second set of parentheses. So I'll write a 4 and then I'll write the leftovers 3y minus 2. I'll close the parentheses and then I'll close the brackets. Okay, notice, and I'm always happy when I notice this, notice that your 3y minus 2, well, each one matches. It becomes the GCF of the polynomial inside the brackets. So I am going to write the answer for times 3y minus 2 times y plus 4. Now all I have to do is check my answer. Let's write check here. I'll have 4, and then I'm going to FOIL the two factors in parentheses. F-O-I-L first is going to be 3y times y, which is 3y squared. Outside is going to be 3y times 4, which is positive 12y. Inside is going to be negative 2 times y, which is minus 2y. And last is going to be negative 2 times 4, which is minus 8. And what that gives us is 4 times 3y squared plus 10y minus 8. Now I'll distribute the 4 into the quadratic trinomial in parentheses and I'll have 12y squared plus 40y minus 32, which is exactly what I started with. In fact, I'll even draw a little arrow here. Exactly what I started with. So I have factored this correctly.